Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate on uh, how uh, I, mean, uh, I did integrate uh, the contact center uh, with the database. So basically what I'm going to demo is, uh, let's say if any of the customer calling up the agent, right? Uh, so the agent should get all the information uh, as soon as the call connects to him on or her on finish. So let's, basically, let's say the agent should know like uh, what's the customer phone number and what's the num what's the customer first name last name what's the customer account details so right so that uh, you know agent do not have to ask the same question back to the agent again back to the customer again so in that way right agent has all the information well in advance right so uh, what it does it it is going to uh, as soon as the call comes in it is going to look up on the database and get all the information uh, pretty well so let's say if uh, there is a new customer right uh, who is calling up for the first time and the database is not updated with the customer details so right so in this case what agent can do is agent um, uh, in that case the agent when the call comes in the agent will not have any information who is the customer what's the first name and the last name right so when the call connects uh, with the unknown customer the agent can ask the unknown customer to provide his details so the the customer can provide like his first name last name and then <clears throat> the account number right so whenever uh, the agent uh, the customer uh, the new customer calls in again next time right so all the information will be fitted in the database well in advance and next time whenever the call comes in the agent will have this information um, even he do not have to ask to the customer next time right so let's stick it uh, in the real time let's see how it works <clears throat> So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's say, use a extension S10002 and call up the customer care um, number and talk to the agent, right? Let's see how it works. Welcome to ABC company. Press one for Arabic, press two for English and press three for Hindi. So if I choose welcome to option, a so if you see, right, uh, what happened was like uh, the customer call came in but there is no information uh, for the customer if you see the full name is empty account number is empty and uh, there is no other information for these customers what it has done is uh, as soon as the call comes in and there is no information for that particular customer it auto pop-ups a uh, one uh, website wherein i can feed in the customer details um, on this particular website uh, with all the details so that whenever the next call comes in i do not have to you know ask the same information back to the customer so what I'll do is, uh, I'll, I, as I know, right, the customer extension is 10,002. So uh, while talking to the customer, I'll grab all this information and I'll key in, in the database. So let's do that. So let's say 10,002. Let's the first first name of the customer is Harry A, and let's say the account number is 00001234. 10,002, for example. Right, I'll submit this in the database. So it says the new record has been created successfully. So let's see when I call up the next time, let's see if the agent get this information well in advance or not from the same extension. And I'll close this form. I'll go here, dial this number. Welcome to ABC company. I'll choose option one. If you see here, right, when the call, customer calls up the next time, uh, the agent has all the information uh, on its records, right? Like as, the agent has got uh, the full name, account number, right? And the agent will also get the, you know, calling number, which is like 10,002 here. So this is what it does, right? Uh, so let's take another example of being a new customer. And when the new customer calls in, right, uh, we'll uh, repeat the same test again. So I'll change this extension from 10,002 to 10,006. Let's act it as a new customer and call in the agent. Welcome to ABC company. Press okay, you see here, the website is automatically open wherein I can key in the database because the customer, this entry is not there in the database, right? For 10,006. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect the call. I'll key, key in uh, the database here as 10,006. I'll make it as name Tom. Tom B and 0001234 10006 for example and submit this entry right so now if the agent calls in the next time the agent will get uh, if the customer calls in the next time the agent will get this information welcome to ABC you see 
the call call is from Tom B and this is the account number and this is a calling party number I can also uh, pass a calling party number in the call variable as well but at this moment just to show you right uh, we have put this in um, um, this particular two information as part of the call variable right so this is how it works so let me show you this website right so this website uh, will only open if then if there is no information about the customer so uh, to retreat right I'll just show you quickly if I call now welcome right, to ABC this page will not open anymore because this entry is already there right so this uh, page will only open when this entry or when the database does not have the, any information of the customer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here uh, to the web page here and let's see if I want to search for the customer any customer if I want to search for for example let's say right Tom I'll get to know the Tom information. What is the calling party number Tom has? What is the first name, last name, and the account number? Another user was Harry, for example. I can search with Harry's uh, first name. Uh, I, I can Harry's, uh, find Harry's information, uh, first name, last name, or account number. Let's see if I have to search for the calling party number is 10,006. Uh, I'll enter is 10,006, and it'll give me all information related to 10,006, which is associated to Tom. Right. Let's say if I want to download the database from the SQL server, right? I can click on this download database and the data will be exported here. So if you open this, so there are two entries. One is for Harry, one is for Tom, right? So this is uh, how uh, this particular uh, integration is Inti uh, has is working and this is how I have integrated uh, to the contact center user CX uh, I hope uh, you like this video thank you for watching